Welcome to Tamiz Max. Today we are starting with 10th standard NCRT. Many of the 9th standard students, I think after your exam, your 10th standard syllabus will start. The very first thing is, 10th standard is a very important part of your student life. So, work from the beginning and see that getting sent down is just nothing. And being an outstanding child, that's also nothing. Everything will be very fine when we have a consistent working, when we have a proper guidance, when we plan a lot, and when we work untiringly, all the questions in our work. First thing, an untiring work is expected from you. You're all young, you're all energetic, and you all have dreams. We cannot just dream and keep quiet. We have to dream and work for it. And many of the dreams have come true when they have worked for it. I'm giving you a long introduction because this is my first class in 10th standard. So work every day in a very consistent mode. Make it a practice that whatever is taught in your school, you practice and you go to the next day well prepared to the class. Only with all this, you can reap tremendous success, not an ordinary success. So today we start with polynomials. My main purpose of this channel, Thamese Mathematics, is to make you feel Max and just nothing. I know it very well. That's the easiest subject. And that is the easiest also. That is true. I want to give you a feeling like that. So let's start. There are many, many more things to speak, which we will share in all the videos we, we do. So we start with polynomials. I would like to work every question in this polynomials, every example in this polynomials, every theory in this polynomial. Uh, so let's see what is this polynomial. What is polynomial? What is called a polynomial? Okay. Now, if I have a variable x, variable means something which changes. 2 is a constant. It doesn't change. 5 is a constant. It doesn't change. But x, anything you can give to x. So x is supposed to be a variable. I have a format in the variable x, for example. Let us say x plus 1. I will call this as a function in x. I will call this fx means function, function in x. It's called like that. Sometimes you can even put y for fx, I can even put y. This is so important because there is something I should teach about the graph at the later stage. So fx is x plus y. Let me say fx is x plus 1, I'm sorry fx is x plus 1. Yes. The index of the variable is a natural number. If the index of the variable is a natural number, then that will be called a polynomial. You can ask me, can it be 0? Yes, it can't be negative, it can't be fractions, but it can be 0 also. What happens if it is 0? All that we will study at a later stage. Now, if the index, if the index is a natural number, then that is called a polynomial. That expression is called a polynomial. Now, we define something called a degree. Sometimes, you know, when you speak, hey, to what degree you know, yeah, you know that. To what degree you know? Will we speak like that? How much? How much you know? To what degree? That's a common thing you speak when you speak out to your friends or to anybody. Now what is that degree here? The index of x is called the degree of the polynomial. So now what is a polynomial? If the index is a natural number, that is called a polynomial. I said 0 also is allowed. 0 is not a natural number. But when the index is 0, we can see it at a later stage. 
the value of the index that's called this is called index so this is a polynomial of what degree of what degree students degree 1 this is a polynomial of degree 1 so define a polynomial any expression in x where the index is a natural number is called a polynomial fine now this is called fx i said it's even y that's very important when we teach graph now if i have x cube plus 3x minus 5 if i have an expression like this here the highest index i said the index is called the degree but which index this is index 1 this is index 3 the highest index the value of the highest index that is the degree of the polynomial here i didn't speak much because this was just one but here this is 3 this is 1 will you say 1 is the degree oh not at all then which will be the degree 3 will be the degree so the highest natural number the index the highest value that will be called the degree of the polynomial now for example if i have like this if i have like this what will be the degree of this polynomial is it one is it one? Oh no 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 not at all then what is it what is the highest index here five so five will be called the degree of this polynomial now come over here is this a polynomial yes yes or no it can't be a polynomial because the index is half half is not a natural number what about this this can't be called a polynomial because it's x minus 1 down so when you take it to the top it will become x minus 1 whole power minus 1 so all that is not spoken here this is not a polynomial so we can give many examples of expressions which are not polynomial what about this x power minus 7 plus x plus 4 is this a polynomial no 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 why 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 because though this is 1 there's a minus 7 here so that can't be called a polynomial so this is the small introduction about the polynomial so a few questions before i could continue is x power 9 a polynomial yes what's the degree of that 9 is x power 9 plus x power 5 a polynomial yes what's the degree of that 9 is x power 7 by 2 a polynomial oh no 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 because 7 by 2 is not a natural number okay so these are the things which you call a polynomial next we go for what is uh there are a lot of things but we are restricted with our syllabus what is a linear polynomial the very word linear, linear, always tells you that it's a first degree. You draw a line, you draw a straight line. That's called a linear, linear equation. That equation is a linear equation. A first degree equation, a first degree expression, a first degree expression rather. We can say an expression. It will be an equation if I equate it to 0, which will be done in the uh, uh, when I do quadratic equations or when I do some other chapter. For the time being, I can say only an expression. A uh, first degree expression is a linear expression. What about x plus 1? It's a linear. It's first degree. What about x plus 2? It's linear. That's a first degree. What about 17x plus 1, that's a linear, it's first degree. What about minus x plus 1, oh, that's a linear, it's a first degree. Okay, so what is a linear, a first degree expression? Or the other way around you speak, what is a first degree expression called? A linear, a linear, a linear expression. Now, these are the numbers I have given with example. 
but what is the general way you will write a linear expression or a first degree expression it will be written as a x plus b where a and b are real numbers okay when i say real numbers that means there is something which is not real that we are not going to speak now that will be complex numbers which we speak at a later stage we can find ourselves with what is required for you to study your 10th standard extremely well okay a x plus b will be a first degree expression and that will be a linear where a and b are real now what is going to be a second degree expression what is going to be a second degree expression this is going to be a second degree expression this is going to be a second degree expression what's the degree of this 2 what's the degree of that 2 what about this is a second degree expression highest index is 2 so a second degree expression is called quadratic polynomial quadratic is very important in your 11th standard in your 12th standard and in all the other subject also because solving a quadratic equation is a very demanding thing for us in all the part of our studies but here we are just starting to you know so this is called a quadratic polynomial it's a quadratic polynomial what about this is this a quadratic polynomial yes 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 there may be a term in x which is missing that we don't care the highest index is 2 so this will be called a quadratic polynomial wonderful 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 Now, what is a general pattern of a quadratic polynomial? That will be a quadratic polynomial will be a x square plus b x plus c. A a x square plus b x plus c. That is a general quadratic polynomial. Uh, definitely, a is not zero. It cannot be zero. Otherwise, the second degree expression will be missing over there. A is not zero. A x square plus b x plus c is a second degree polynomial, which is called a quadratic polynomial. Everything is important. What is not important? Uh, in your body, every organ is important. You you need to have good legs, good eyes, good hands, good brain. Everything should be fine. Only then you're energetic. and your master of yourself and you can achieve even a little fever we get don't we get upset because the smartness goes down likewise in mathematics every every everything is important i can't say this is important that is important that how can i say that everything is important so you have to create a liking in all the chapters you are doing and every small thing to every difficult thing you have to concentrate and you have to master it i always use the word master it you have to master mathematics and not just read mathematics okay so now a x square plus b x plus c is a quadratic polynomial why i was saying all this is quadratic is the most important you will be doing in all the part of mathematics for that i was trying to give you some examples fine a is not zero next is what is a cubic polynomial what is a cubic polynomial cubic cube 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 so cube means it's a third degree polynomial so you have x cube plus 14 x square Minus x plus one. This will be a cubic polynomial. This will be a cubic polynomial. Okay, that will be a cubic polynomial. Fine. A cubic polynomial means what's the degree? Degree is three. Degree is three. So the general expression for a cubic polynomial will be 
ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus b. This is a general pattern. General means, say this is specific. I have the values of a, b, c. But this is general. What you can give generally? It's general cubic polynomial. Of course, here also a should not be 0. Otherwise, it won't be a cubic. So now, we give me an example of a cubic polynomial. If you're listening to me, you can give it yourself. 14x power 3 plus 5. Yeah, it's a cubic polynomial. Okay. It's not that you should have the other expressions. It's, it's not, not. It can be there or it need not be there. So you can try writing many format where it gives you a cubic polynomial. So let's put it in a nutshell. What's a polynomial? You have defined it. The induct should be a natural number that will be termed as a polynomial. We have a linear polynomial which is first degree. So ax plus b is a general linear polynomial. ax square plus bx plus c that's a general quadratic polynomial which is second degree. I told you everything and anything is important in mathematics but quadratic has more weightage. Next is a cubic polynomial. So now first thing ax plus b is a linear polynomial. ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic polynomial which is a second degree polynomial. ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b is a cubic polynomial. This is what we give names. We have fourth degree, fifth degree, now we have many more. This is not the limit. Next is, what is called zeros of the polynomial? What is called zeros of the polynomial? Suppose I have x square minus 1, a polynomial of second degree. If I put 1 in this, x is 1, it becomes 0. If I put, if I put 1 here, 1 minus 1, 0. If I put minus 1, minus 1 whole square is also 1, 1 minus 1, 0. This 1 will be called 0 of this polynomial. Minus 1 also will be called 0 of this polynomial. When you go a little higher, you will be calling this root of that particular format and all that. That and all I don't want to speak now. So we are now bothered about what is 0 of the polynomial. 0 of the polynomial is that value of x when you substitute in the polynomial, the polynomial will vanish. The polynomial will become 0. What do you think will be the zeros of? What do you think will be the zeros of this? Root 3? Put root 3? Root 3 whole square 3. 3 minus 3 will become 0. Minus root 3, that also will become 0. So what are called the zeros of the polynomial? Any value of x which will make that polynomial vanish, which will make that polynomial 0, that will be called the zero of the polynomial. The same thing will be termed as root and all that and will be uh, spoken at a later stage. Now, let's put one foot at a time. Okay? Now, now, zero of the polynomial we know. Now, what will be, just five minutes, I will give you the theory part alone today and uh, the problems which I have put exercise 2.2 I will discuss in the next video. But I want everybody to take things very serious and come well prepared to the class and the uh, motto of this channel is that you get sent on not only in 10th standard, your interest in mathematics goes deep rooted and you are able to achieve anything in life. A strong mathematics makes you well versed not only in mathematics subject, in anything you read. Okay, so what is zero of a polynomial? 
Any value of x, when you put there, it becomes zero. That will be called zero of the polynomial. Now, for example, let me have like that. I can put this as fx is equal to x square minus 4. What is f of 2? 2 square minus 4. 4 minus 4, 0. What is f of minus 2? Minus 2 whole square minus 4. 4 minus 4, that will be 0. So 2 is called the 0 of the polynomial and minus 2 is also called the 0 of the polynomial. It's okay? So now we have Let's see, regarding the quadratic, what is the relationship between the coefficients and the zeros of the polynomial. Anybody define, the viewers, any one of you define? Of course, I don't want people to listen to me like that. Oh, 10 standard, eh? somebody is teaching you person. And I listen, no, 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 no. There should be involvement, there should be energy, there should be joy. Mathematics is a joy. You read for joy. You don't read because you're going to write an exam. You read for joy and obviously the writing exam will be done extremely well. So when I participate in my reading, there should be a tremendous joy in that. Every day you improve little, little, little. And it should make you happy. I'm so happy because I love to teach. I'm so happy because I want students to tell me, ah, oh, so easy in mathematics. Tremendous. I want that. So I love to teach you all. You love to read because it's your life. And you're going to achieve. So now I think the next one we will do afterwards. We will now recollect in a nutshell what we have done. And in your next video, when I meet you, uh, I want you to come well prepared. And I want you to have a piece of paper, a rough paper, a pen, set, practice, practice, practice. You don't read mathematics. You practice mathematics. <coughs> Sorry. What's a polynomial? An expression where the index is a natural number will be a polynomial. What is the degree of a polynomial? The highest natural number there, that will be defined as a degree of the polynomial. Uh, what is a linear polynomial? A uh, first degree is a linear polynomial. What is a quadratic polynomial? A uh, second degree will be a quadratic polynomial. What is a cubic polynomial? A uh, third degree will be a cubic polynomial. Then I was telling you what is zeros of a polynomial. Any value of x which makes that zero will be the zeros of the polynomial. There are lots and lots to learn. So we will meet in the next video with more information about the zeros and we'll start with problems and you will be getting information in an elevated way in this channel. Not like that. I don't want to climb steep. You should enjoy your walk over there and reach the Himalayan range. That is the motto of this channel. So I will meet you in the next class with more things and more information. Till then, you're going to get sent on. You're going to read extremely well. Best wishes to you for an excellent reading in your 10th standard.